guys, Leslie Durso. I'm here with one of my favorite people, Miss Brittany Ishibashi. She is an actress, she is a mother, she is a wife, she is an entrepreneur. <laughs> she is so many things. And one thing she is is also hungry. <laughs> Always hungry. So today we are gonna show you how to make a very, very fast, easy, delicious meal. This is a linguine with blistered tomatoes and a garlic wine sauce. And it's all gonna come together in the amount of time that it takes to boil water. Explain to me what this is, because I came over to Brittany's house today and she was like, oh, garlic, this. This looks like a strange, like doesn't everyone use one of these things? No, I've never seen or used this before. Yeah, I'm old just... school, I use a knife. So we're gonna watch you in all of this. And we're doing this whole head of garlic? We're gonna do an entire bulb of garlic, because why not? I love garlic. I love it's that. so good for you. Okay, wait, so, so. show me, wait, you're, show me one. Let's so show see me what one. you're gonna so do. Just, I mean, super right. easy. Garlic. And it just kind of feels like a little sea sauce. And once it's there, and then what you can do? just scoop it off okay. into whatever you need, and it's easy. <laughs> okay, um, tell me about what you're up to. So Brittany's an incredible actress. If you didn't see her on Political Animals, get it on, can you get Political Animals? It's on Netflix. On Netflix. Mm -hmm. Check it out, because it's one of my favorite series. Okay, but the biggest news that you've got coming, too, is she's in a little movie, a little movie no. coming out with some really cool co-stars. Yeah. Co-stars? Yeah. She's in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Coming out June. June 3rd. 3rd. I play bad guy. Yes. What's your character's name? Karai. Karai. Which means spicy in Japanese. Yes! Spicy in mm. Japanese, I like that. You want this to be room temperature. You don't want it to be cold. When you, because we're gonna blister the tomatoes and then throw it in there. And if it's cold, then it'll shock the tomatoes too much. So room temp. <laughs> All right, let's go cook. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna blister the tomatoes. We've got our tomatoes. Big pan, mm -hmm. which we are gonna put on high. Okay. We're gonna do some olive oil, and then make sure that we roll it around so that we get our whole pan covered. So before it gets too piping hot, you wanna get all your tomatoes in there okay. and just get a nice, even, layer of them on the bottom Great. and then we're just going to kind of let it go and let them trust. sizzle and bubble and trust. A couple of them are just starting to pop so what we're going to do is take this pan and just roll it. Uh, yeah. This is better if you use a spoon you'll actually break up the tomatoes more than you want. So if you just roll them with the handle that'll move them around enough to get those dark spots. These are looking great. So once they're soft like that and starting to get the caramel on the side, mm -hmm. then we're gonna do a big pinch of salt and then we're gonna take all this garlic. We don't put it in at the beginning because we don't want this to get overcooked and bitter, which is what will happen if you overcook garlic. So we want those tomatoes to cook and get beautifully colored. And then we're gonna add all of our garlic. Now stand back because okay. it, can, it can splash a little bit sometimes, but we're gonna add in our white wine. Like a cup or like a. You want it to be like three quarters of the way up on the tomatoes. Okay. So about it's about a big glass. Okay. A big glass of wine. Wow. So again, we're just gonna shake it and get the that garlic down. So we've got our water boiling. We're gonna throw in some salt and our dry linguine. So in the rule of thumb is a quarter pound of dry pasta per person that you're serving. So one one pound box is gonna serve four people. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. So that's pop that now. in and give it a stir. Got our linguine that I just drained and we are gonna go right into the pot with it with all those tomatoes. Take it and turn it over. <laughs> this you wanna keep that burner on when you put the pasta in because you want that pasta to do the last minute cooking in that sauce of the white wine and the garlic and the tomatoes so that it absorbs a little bit more and gets just a little bit more flavor. All done, let's go plate it. All right, so that garlic, those tomatoes, that white wine is smelling amazing. And what we've got is some fresh basil to top it with. And I'm gonna show you the secret to slicing basil. Oh, the fancy restaurant. way? The fancy way. Mm. So let's take um, some basil leaves and you wanna lay them flat, stacked on top of each other on your board. And then you're gonna roll them into a little, a little roll like that. And I'm gonna have you do this. Okay. But then you're gonna come through with your knife and just do a really fine slice. Yeah? 
Yeah? Yeah. I feel like I need to be like super thin. Super thin is, is perfect. And then also I'm gonna show you the key to plating spaghetti or linguine or fettuccine. Most people see these in an Italian store and think they're salad tongs. <laughs> these are not salad tongs, people. This is a pasta fork and spoon. And so I'm gonna show you All right. how we plate. We've got some pasta bowls here, but we could do this on a plate. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this gigantic fork, stick it into your pasta pot and twirl it. And use that spoon to guide. And it's okay if you don't get any tomatoes because we'll put them in later. And then you use that spoon to gently press it off and you're gonna get the perfect swirl of pasta, just like you would see in a restaurant. Perfect. So fancy. Yes. And then we'll use that spoon to top off those yummy blistered. All those beautiful blistered tomatoes. And get some of that garlic from underneath there. Oh yeah. And then we've got yeah. that basil that when you toss around, is perfectly sliced. Beautiful job, Brittany. And we're just gonna put that right on top. And there you go, the perfect plate. All right, I'm gonna plate mine, Okay. and we're gonna eat. All right, awesome. there are our dishes. There's the rest of that white wine. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for cooking with me, Brittany. Thanks for having me. Make sure you follow her on all social media at Brittany Ishibashi, and I'll put the link below. And um, check her out on all of her fabulous movies and TV shows on Netflix, and go see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when it comes out. And uh, thanks, thanks for having me in your kitchen. Keep doing the squats. Squats. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.